All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Devil May Cry 5 Deluxe Edition. In the last episode, we did mission number two, where we fought against the huge Goliath guy in the church, and we met up with V. Nico has used a cutting from that Goliath to create this new arm called Punchline and Helter Skelter. I will. But before we buy any arms, I want to buy some more abilities. I'm going to go to the Red Queen. Uh, no, wait, no, not the Red Queen. The Exceed. Ah, still can't get Max Act. I don't know whether I should get it right now or later. Uh, I should probably get it later, to be honest. Alright, I'm going to get a hard way. Where we just hold down triangle while on the ground and release. It's a pretty easy one to do. I'm going to try that out in a moment. Devil Breaker. We could... Oh, wait, no, we don't have enough. But we... That should do it for that. Okay, now these are quite expensive. I don't actually want to buy any right now. Sweet Surrender is actually worth quite a lot. 3,500. <laughs> Alright, those are all the upgrades that we need. So, let's begin mission number three. Flying Hunter. I've not equipped any Devil Breakers, that's fine, I don't need it. Alright, move out. So much for teamwork. She don't give a shit, does she? This is new. Wirebound. Standing on a platform with red flames when no enemies are around will turn the flames blue and cause grim grip points to appear in the air. Ah, so this is just like in Devil May Cry 1. Starring. Alucard. Must be one of them. Uh... Oh, that bottom left bit where it says starring someone. I think that's starring another player. Lock onto a grim grip point with R1 and press circle. Lock onto grim grip points and pull yourself towards them to do first parts of the stage. Uh, before I do that, actually, I just want to check if there's any secrets around here. Alright, no secrets. Bats. Psycho Bat. Wing Deception. Get over here. Excellent. Just want to make sure there's nothing extra around here. Which I'm guessing there will be. I'll have that. Let's go. I think I'll handle the closer one first. Gotta start somewhere. I'm guessing I'm going to hide something behind here. And I was right. Not this way. Punchline. I'll have that. What's this? Another blue orb fragment. That's our fourth one. That's the blue orb. Wow, it reminds me of that boss in Devil May Cry 2. The one with those multiple heads. 
Show me what you got! Hello! What'd you say? What'd you guys say? Oh, we got the brute. Ah, oh, broke the arm. God damn it. <laughs> I got the drop kick at least. Maybe I'll use it. He's just gonna jump us backwards. It'll jump us back over to this roof, I guess. Guess we're heading into the tunnel. Screw it. We're taking this fucking thing down. Well, he swears a lot more than he did in the uh, previous game. Oh yes, Mega Buster. Grim Grip. Press R1 circle after attacking target. Grim Grip points can be revealed by attacking certain spots. Skelter. I guess we're gonna have to move on then. I can't see anything else to do.
Damn it, I can't get over there yet. Some demon tree roots contain clots of blood. Destroy these clots to get red orbs. Destroying the clots sometimes opens up new paths or triggers something in the environment. Oh, great. Now the roots are in my way. Interesting. I want to grab this. So I'm guessing that's the way forward. In fact, I know the way forward if I hold down L3. Oh, that's the way forward. Oh, okay, I thought there was something hidden here. I guess not. Baddies. Oh, I wanted to drop kick it in the face. have to be coming from somewhere. It's so always searching for new arms. After you ran past walls and stuff, just check behind and make sure that uh, you have a good thing. Ah! Great. Looks like someone didn't like that. Get over here. That's actually pretty sick. So I'm guessing there's more stuff to destroy if we're going to get through this exit. Yeah, we can't get through it just yet. There's more roots to get rid of. There's a gold orb up there. I think. Or is it just a light? No, it's just a light. <laughs> Stupid. I really want to get a drop kick in. There's another enemy. I'll try it. Your buster. All right, looks like we're going through this tunnel. More baddies. There's an explosive on the ground right there. I got blown up in the first episode because uh, I didn't know what that was. That's another one gone. How much you want to bet they're going to seal us in this room and give us a bunch of enemies? Here we go. Alright, bring it. Good start. What the? Right. Have a mega buster.
Excellent. Thank you, Mega Buster. 4,000 points. I understand why that get more orbs is an option because it's really hard to spot the little ones that spread out all over the place. Yeah, he does jump differently. I wasn't imagining it. That's a Mega Man jump. Bingo. Shoot it. That can lend. That can make us go up. Just want to grab his arm first. Should really probably head down. Punchline. We've got too many arms. Yeah. Alright, that can bring us up real quick. But obviously if we do that, we miss out on some upgrades. So it's probably better to just run up. Go, what's up? Up there. Wait. Which way are we supposed to go? We're supposed to go down. Good. Which means this is a secret. Blew up fragment. You know it. All right. Uh, I think that's the only purpose of this room. Oh, God, not these things. Don't do the laugh. There it is, Shears of Annihilation, Death Scissors, they're back. Oh, we're not fighting them then. Alright, now I really want the Helter Skelter, but I've got two Mega Busters. So, I want up. Gonna destroy all the cover. There's a bunch of red orbs for doing that. Make sure you do it. It's very, very dark in here. You want me to follow you? No way. You bring that shit to me. Get rid of the cover. There they Get out of the way! The scissors! Or the scythe, I should say. They're a lot more defensive than I remember them being. I 
How about if I miss anything else in this room? I'm gonna head upstairs. I mean, surely there's gonna be like devil breakers and stuff up here. Can't destroy these bookcases for some reason, though. Punchline. Although I have to destroy Hel Helter Skelters to get it. I should really start destroying them a bit more. Like, show off their advanced effects. And here's another one. Gerbera GP01. Excellent. Let's move on. Whoa. The hell did that? Okay, there's another one. Sweet Surrender. That's actually worth a lot. In fact, I want to destroy health and stealth just to get it. Without strength, so apparently it's worth anything. a lot. That. Wait a sec. That's not his line. That's Virgil's line. Without strength, you can't protect anything. Virgil said that. Sells a phone. Let's call up Nico. You're up, Nico. You know I got you covered, asshole. How the hell did you do that? Carry more breakers. You know what? I actually do want to do that. And that'll be all. Now if I head back into the library, maybe I can grab one of them. Let's move on. <laughs> Artemis, illuminating corruption. Chatter monologue? Just getting right to the point, huh? And that's gonna be in my nightmares forever. These things do. Run away! God damn it. Get back over here. Not like that, though! <laughs> Screw this arm. Wow. 
What is going on in this match? Excellent. Making a lot more sense now. At least a bit, I guess. No, you don't. Punchline, thank you. Bring it. And that's the end of you. Interesting boss. Kind of like it. Hang on, that's Lady? I think. Dante's friend is Lady. The Waking Arsenal. You know her? From my gunsmith days. Uh, what? I can't believe you do this to Kyrie. I'm gonna have to tell her, man. I'm joking. Hey, loosen up your jock strap. <laughs> Don't do anything I would do. Just friends in bell room. <sighs> Kitty A would kill me right now. I'm sure she'd understand. But more importantly, we've got ourselves another upgrade that Nico's uh, just picked up. That took an awful long time to transition. Got a bunch of A's and all continues. And that leads to another S rank reunion. Hell yeah. Let's take a look at some of them details. Consistent style, max vitality victory, uh, double death, slow scrapper, master swordsman, armless victory. Yeah, this is all brilliant. Continuous coup, worth quite a lot. Let's see if there's any more cutscenes. Ooh, what's this? Stylish. You can evaluate any players you match with online. Try giving a stylish rating for anyone who shows their stuff. Collect enough ratings to obtain a gold orb. Uh, sure, you can give him a stylish. So, the story. Nero and V split up to find separate paths to the Cliffa, the demonic tree. Nero encountered a deadly demon wielding light as a weapon. When he when defeated, it turned out to contain Lady. Can she shed some light on the battle with the demon king? And what is V's true motive? I mean, we don't really know much about V at the moment. So V, you think this kid can kill your 
person? One can only hope. But for now, we have a more pressing engagement. Interesting. Player change. V. Switch player to V. Command three demons on the battlefield, controlling a flow of combat from a distance. Vitality and orbs held carry over, but you must obtain skills for V. Alright, so let's end the episode here. And next time, we're going to do... V's mission number four but before we do that we're going to customize and see if we can give him some more skills so until then make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one take care